Now let's take a look at validating a XML file with a DTD. Now I'm going to show you how to validate this thing using Internet Explorer. You need to understand that there's a lot of different tools out there to use this. A very popular one is Saxon, S-A-X-O-N. You can go out and do a Google search on that. Use that as a command line tool to validate your XML. There's a lot of various application programming interfaces out there that you can code this stuff in. You can validate XML through code in visualstudio.net. We're back to that same thing with XML. How you use XML depends on where you stand when you're trying to use XML. So what I want to do here is avoid all the discussions that goes around about using Internet Explorer. But notice something here. I've got an XML file and it's pointed at my DTD file. So if I just open this and I'll right click and I'll open this with Internet Explorer, you're going to notice that as long as it's well formed, Internet Explorer will open it up. and it's not necessarily going to tell me. Now, what I've done here is added a tool that will allow Internet Explorer to validate XML documents. Now, understand, Microsoft has been in the middle of the fray with this development of XML standards and so forth, and they've taken a lot of heat on a lot of things, and I'll talk about some more of them later. But this is one example. Microsoft has had some tools out there called MSXML, and Microsoft has tended to drive ahead of the W3C sometimes and take off on various ways of doing things that are not standard. And then the W3C comes back and sets a standard, and then Microsoft has to start retooling. So the MSXML path has been somewhat confusing. It's getting better, and Microsoft's getting more and more in line with standards. But by default, IE will not validate. So what I actually did is, let me go out here and show you a link that if you go to www.microsoft.com and just do a search for Internet Explorer tools for validating XML, here's the page right here for viewing this. Now, notice I can download this tool, and what's going to happen when I download this tool, it's only 218 kilobytes. But what it's going to allow me to do is to simply open an XML file in IE, right-click on that file, here we go, right-click on the file, and I can either validate the XML or view the XSL output. So let's go take a look at this. So now I've installed this, and so what I will do now is open People XML in Internet Explorer, now, if I right-click, well, if I go view the source on this, you can see that it's pointed to the people DTD, .dtd file. Now, if I right-click it, you'll notice down here it says Validate XML. So I'll click it, and notice the validation was successful. It took my XML document, looked at my DTD, and came back and said that it was successful. Now, let's, let's mess with it a little bit just to make sure that it is validating. Let's change uh, wife to wife's. Okay, I know it's not grammatically correct, but we'll just stick it that way for right now. So I'll save this, reopen People XML and Internet Explorer. We're still valid, no problem here, but notice Wipes is here. So I right click and I validate, and it says, wait a minute, clown, you got a problem. And it's telling you that Wipes, and it's saying it's expecting Wife right here. Okay, and notice parsing errors at line 7 in my DTD document. Okay, so I could go out to my DTD document, come down to line 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and it's going to give me an idea, and what it's saying is it was looking for wife and it found wives. So that's how I validate with a DTD in Internet Explorer. Now there's another one that's real interesting. And this one is a VB script file. I'm going to move this XML file over. And you'll notice right here there's a, actually I'll just leave it right here. There's a VB script file called msval. You can go out and search on Microsoft's website and find this msvbs. I'll include this on the CD. So if you'll look in the, uh, on the CD, uh, there'll be a folder there that will have this VBS tool in it. But for right now, what I'll do is I'm going to just drag this, open this VBS. So let's do that. Uh, I'll open this with Notepad and let you see and make it full screen here that this is a decently substantial script that will parse and validate my XML file. And it's totally written in VBScript. 
Now what's cool about this thing is, is to use it, all I have to do is grab my XML file. Here's my XML file, if you remember, it's got wipes in there still. I grab it and just drop it on the VBScript file, and you'll notice it pops up and tells me that I've got a problem here. So it validated it. Let's take the S out. And let's do a file save, and I can drag it again. And this time, notice it tells me people XML is valid. Now, there's all kind of variations on how to do this, but I just wanted you to see an example of what validation is and how it helps us make sure the structure is okay here.